this is day two of end hunger in Nigeria and yes. hardship and bad government protests. Follow me and watch to the end as I bring to you live, okay. you know, actions from different cities, states, villages in Nigeria. I'll be back. If you want to cook and yam for your house now, you must owe like 15,000 naira. Where we do self and the money no day. How many governors? Now then no say na 85,000 naira now. Now he did say one hamburger of rice. Which president you all know? Eh? Okay. Which governors? Which house of assembly house? Now then one no say. Now, wow, 850 naira, they the say for now. This country, we don't just stand it. Now, hungry, now you don't carry anybody past this country, you don't pass. May if we come down, may our food come down, if we don't come down, if we come, 150 naira, if you do now, anything will come down. All right, um, so I did see different news, different stories say they sponsor us, make we go protest against Tinubu government. You understand? Say one politician sponsor us, one senator sponsor us, and all that. The truth be say now for a price now he sponsor me go there. You understand? Now hungry of the people now he sponsor me go there. Me I no collect money from anybody. I don't know anybody. But if they have proof, they should bring it against me any day, any time. They can charge me to court any day, any time. If they have proof that I collected money for anything. Now in my video, you heard me saying wiki, 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 wiki. I was calling the minister's name. People are saying, why are you calling the minister's name? Why no be why no be police where the throat tiger? See what made me start calling VK. Now, when I got there, we're in a corner. You understand? When I got there, we're in a corner, we're just doing solidarity forever, peacefully in a corner. A policeman came, then police came. Then one of them now came and said, Very dark man, come, let's talk. He came, then he now said, uh, we cannot protest yet. And I said, ah, why? He said there's an order that we can't protest here and that we must move to the stadium. I say, ah, I don't know about the other. Let me see if the other is good, then we go. Do you understand? Then he brought out his phone to show me the other. Immediately he opened it. He said, he opened it, took it, took his time and finally now opened the other and now said, see. When he showed me the other, it was nothing about no protest. It was the heading, like the heading of the letter was a case. I just saw between Nesom Wike and IG of police, chief of army staff, uh, director of DSS, you know, all the head of, all the security agencies, all their bosses, it was a case against him and all of them, you know. Then I said, ah, it's not a case against your Oga and every other person. So I didn't even know there was a case in court against, uh, for WK against all these people. Then that was when it dawned on me that even the police said they don't hold them for truth. The Oga of the police, they don't hold them for truth. The Oga of army, they don't hold everybody for truth. Do you understand? So that's why I was calling Wiki's name. So it's now see those police already they work there. My brother, don't be saying that they be the enemy. Uh -huh. Now the people where they give the order that they be the real enemy. Do you understand? Because did I remind you, we will not be outside protesting if all these small small things are being met. Like I said, only for a price, we take everybody back inside their house. Do you understand? So what I'm trying to say is this. People that are protesting in Abuja, don't make it, don't think by mistake that it's the police that are doing all those things. They don't hold all of them for truth. Even the army or guy, everybody or guy, they don't hold them for truth without court or that. And if I didn't see that, you know, they showed it. Do you understand? So that's why the next thing, boom, they start to the truth your gas. And you heard me, I was saying, we can, we are not animals. You know, we can, we are not animals. You know what is even funny about these tear gas that they are throwing like this? Poop, 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 poop. Everywhere the police, they throw tear gas. Where did they order them? Be they threw tear gas, right? In order to control people. And the tear gas, I just checked the price of tear gas today. The cheapest one when I see for Amazon are fourteen dollars. If you calculate one thousand six hundred naira times fourteen, it's twenty-two thousand. The highest one I've seen are about thirty-nine 
um dollars so if you calculate one six times 39 it's actually 66 thousand naira. so basically i don't know the one where they use but we'll go by the cheapest one basically any pop where you see now let's just say now around with two thousand naira. it's crazy it's crazy all this money on or just all that it takes for all this thing now i'm not going to use that to do the best thing anyways so that is why i was calling wk and i didn't bother to call the police because i saw that the answer time number two i cannot be calling police too much you know why because now still the police are they used to they solve my own cases everybody where they cry call very dark man come and help me this one that one nasty police are they go meet do you understand nasty police go still do one which other way can i solve your case which other way can i do it there's no any other way at the end of the day you understand it's not as if i can go and eh, 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 pick somebody from the house it's not as if i can tell police that ah see you see what is going every complaint i will go do you understand so two things number one uh i saw the order number two the police did the last police i see the they do the work well and they do for people that they do it for do you understand so um like i said at the end of the day we now move to abuja stadium now what got there people now came you know there are a lot of boys even some boys are now covering the road say so, ah yeah, mona leave the road we have that one and brought everybody closer the only pain of everything is that Wicked did not trust us enough. Wicked did not respect us enough. Give us respect, more we'll move around. Then if anything happened, then you go come use VS, come talk, say, okay, you must go to the stadium. There was no respect for anybody. Just come treat us as if we be cows and we are sheep. But at the end of the day, the main aim, for me, I will speak for myself. After the foil price, there's nothing I want again. Once that foil price just come down, piam, you understand? Yesterday, I have to buy black markets. I bought black markets at um 20 26 000 for 15 liters black market 26 000 for 15 liters and when are they come back today 700 per liter do you understand 700 per liter how do you want people to survive how do you want people so if you bring down for price and people still there on the streets send anything one i won't send me to chase anybody because i believe if the foil price is reduced by 50 percent nobody go to the streets they protest nobody nobody there's nothing anybody all this other artists said they sponsor them it's hungry that sponsoring people it's hungry bring out fair price a lot of things will reduce that's all fair price anybody where they born with me can't go outside then we'll come no see this one as they sponsor them if you bring out the fair price anybody goes out we know that those people were sponsored but for now i want to beg the president president uh please sir just the fair price daddy daddy why edge of fair price about to be fair price, no see sale, cause he protests more. You understand? I am sure nobody oh, bad the talk as in the media or that day. No, me I no go protest again. That's all I want to say. Fair price, and I will go back inside, and I will encourage people to go back inside. Thank you very much. Don't play. It's the second day of the protest in Oshogo, and the protesters gathered at their point of convergence and moved around some places. After about two hours, they all left for their various homes. However, commercial activities are going on smoothly in all parts of the town. Vehicular movements are unhindered as security operatives are stationed at strategic places to ensure there is no public disturbance. All major markets in Oshubu, especially in Igbona, Ajigule, Orisumbari and Uluode open for business without any form of harassment or intimidation, except for few persons who closed their shops. And their protests are in so many forms. If people are locking their shops, that's the kind of a protest do. The economy is being battered. It's been battered. So coming out to the streets to protest does not even mean that people are not supporting. Even locking off the shops itself is a protest. That people don't do. What is happening? They should, they should, they should follow the requests. All these requests that are made by the protesters, they are things that are very, very practical. And the government should wake up. They should wake up to their responsibilities. While some residents want governments to listen to the cries of Nigerians, some call for God's intervention. People are suffering, so I will advise them to make sure that they make everything slow so that people will enjoy various sort of things and then life will be meaningful for them. We are not happy about the information that got to us from other states as regards the protest. 
We should shun protest, but rather pray for God's intervention. Killing and miming ourselves will not address the problem. They allege that state governments are not helping matters. People are hungry and people are dying. Take for example, the, the hypertension medicine that I buy for 250, it's not 5,000 naira. And my pension, my pension is still the same. How can I survive it? The food, the, the gari that we buy for, for 8,000 before, is now 60 something thousand. How can we survive? So if the government can just reduce the price of food to help us, instead of putting the money, the go back to the, to, to the state government. The state government are not doing what they're supposed to do in their respective states. The protest continues on Saturday. Rafiul Hamid, TVC News, Ushubo. Just they don't do shit and tear gas anyhow, and this innocent child, where she don't know anything. This is a peaceful protest. We are not going to see him. Is there. Yes. What happened to him? Just they don't kill him. Nothing happened. Where was he killed? Casina. What happened? How was he killed? Abandoned for bush, for, uh, for, uh, for a farm. So your husband was a farmer? Yes. Before he, he died? Yes. Oh, oh. That is the reason why you are here to voice out? Yes, sir. Uh, we kind of not, uh, we don't have uh, uh, this, uh, the details of uh, what really happened to our husband, but she's actually here. Uh, with me here is the baby. Come, 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 come. Bring the baby and the mother. Come, now, get the baby, come, make a show. Come, the baby. It's a pity. Nigeria is a joke. Nigeria is a joke. Madam, uh, you were saying your husband was, was killed. Yes. Uh, can you give, give us a, a, a brief detail of how that happened? And was he killed in a protest? Come, enough of the talking, you know. We need people to come out. Come out. Come out. We need your number. Right. I need the people, let them come out from this protest. Because I'm not. My husband is from Castina State. My own family, they are from Traba State. I not seeing my family husband now because of this problem where we have for Nigeria. Look at my child now. We come to protest. On a peaceful protest, we can tear gas. What are we done? And we have talked to them. Nobody is holding gun. Nobody is carrying any, you know, ammunition. Why? Why tear gas? You don't want to kill us. All of us. Something will happen. I think police will kill everybody. Police will kill everybody. The army will kill everybody. Uh, well, as you can see, the protesters are agitated because of one particular action by security operatives. The protesters who were uh, approaching uh, around the Eagle Square from the, the Federal Secretariat were ambushed by security men who threw two particular canisters of tear gas at them. This enraged the protesters and they are basically angry and they are voicing out now. Yes. Among the protesters, you have a, a, a nursing mother who brought her child to the protesting ground, and she's angry that she's voicing out her, her anger that her husband was killed. Trying to harass us. 
they have started. They have started. We don't need the police. We don't need the army. Yes. Ocandos, just right. Yes. They are in a learnable rights. Right. And for the past 24 hours, we have been extremely peaceful. Yes. There has not been any intimidation, no provocation, no iota of violence. And the police has a duty to provide security for these protests. Yes. And we told them we are here armed with our banners and placards alone. Why will you now allow Arab thugs to come and intimidate us? We have always told them that protest. This message is especially for those that want to sell women where be so naturally beg money. Now, now be the same particular women where come out with placards say say no to protest. After on a 5k where be say Tinubu party people say they go pay on a where they not pay on a where make on a come on like on cry say they say they go give us 5k. They don't give us 5k. People where they hire to call protest against protest. When I see all those on a rat and on a shishu with those on a crocro shun on a de bone, when they walk up follow people for lucky to get and they can take it, brother, 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 drink what I remain for me, brother. Anyone when you mean a one, if I knock on, I go punch a lame mate. If you not faint, now smart to go come out. All those on a bastard, all those on a rabbit and on a crocro shun on a de rear. Whoa, go go bear a bitch was old bear a lady. In bear, if you make crocro, if you make shishu, I'm worried now. Or old sick hero there, it one. Memo say, Fab will be women right, you know. So don't go be bastard there, your period, Nana. Hold your children. I won't say women. Where say, Boari, the Tinubu, they work. When you understand Tinubu is doing a very good job, the economy is perfect. Enjoy the government. But who are sick, he can beg me. Ah, na punch, I go punch like my age mate. I not be alone, na children, no. Una the mothers too. Una they beg. Me una comport una self this period because I know say not be only me. As many of us where be say jam una, una nails. Do I go clear? It's so obvious that these protests they don't hijack them. A country, a nation like Nigeria, do not need a scheduled protest 
Now, unscheduled protests will shake the government. They could answer and do what we want. You get the point now. The way they schedule this protest on the 1st of August, Niger government begin to find way to scatter that protest. Sort some people go behind, go collect money. As I speak to you now, some people claiming to be the planners of this protest, don't they do meeting with the government? They go collect money behind and they go come out. Nothing will come out from this protest. Yes, because some people don't use this medium. They loot people shop. Yes. They steal people things. They spoil things. And you think you can get it right like this? No. The government already plant tribalism okay. inside us. It's not going to work like this. The unscheduled protests will shake our government and us. You understand? We are not even united in this protest. Regardless of what you saw in the video, we are not. Some people, they do their own. Some other people, they do their own. Some are protesting against the protesters. You understand? Some people collect money to come scatter the protest. Is that how we're going to get it right? Uh -uh. It's not going to work like that. We need to fall back. And we strategize and take them on our way. That's the only way to get our government to answer us. This hunger protest, this one, you don't get it right. You no know, get anything at this time. You understand? I would advise you to go home because if you stay there, anything happen to you. Niger is not the country where you can feel life because nothing will come out. People will give their life 2020 October 20th, 2020 for answers. How far about them? And here you are. You do any idea. Well, the same make I drop out to them. You need to go back and strategize. That's it. If, you're, if this is your first time joining this page, please do me a favor like, share, and subscribe. That being said, see you. Yes, I'll be watching.